What's up guys, it's Charlie Root. Uh just wanted to share this kind of this new thing that I discovered tonight. Um uh I don't know if you guys on YouTube follow Ben Jordan. I actually I didn't even know about Ben Jordan until recently, and the reason I found out about Ben was um uh, I got recommended a video about about the software that Aphex Twin uses in his music. And um if anybody doesn't know, I just I kind of was. I am super late to the game, and I just recently discovered Aphex Twin. I know, I know. You guys might be. I've already had my friends already roast me for this. I don't know why, but this whole time, I thought Aphex Twin was just like a techno artist. I and I like drum and bass, and I just you know I don't really listen to like you know techno very much. Uh, I mean, techno is its own style of you know it's more of that traditional electronic you know like oops 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 kind of sound you know, but. uh but no, it, it turns out that no, uh, Aphex Twin makes all types of electronic music, and he definitely does make have he does some drum and bass type kind of tracks that that kind of you know they're using breaks and and and, and he's he's just an, he's a space alien. So I just I was just like wow, I got to figure out what 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 did what did Aphex Twin use? So that's how I found out about this guy. So anyways, uh, his newest video kind of just really turned me on to the concept of AI mastering. And you might be rolling your eyes like, oh no, he's falling for the AI. The AI uh, trope, the AI fad. No, trust me, I'm, I, 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 I understand that it is, it's, it's a tool, but I don't think it's, it's a, it's gonna solve everything. I think it could actually help out creatives, creative people. Um, they can use it as, as a helping tool. It's not gonna replace uh, the creative mind, though. A hundred percent. It just, it's just not. You know, it might, it might replace like lazy people, but it, it won't replace, you know, like real, like human art but the cool thing was is that uh he did this study where he uh he had a bunch of uh i think he he had seven different tracks mastered seven different ways and two of those ways were done with uh professional sound designers or i'm sorry uh, mastering engineers that have studios that do mastering for like professional like uh high-end you know you know music industry kind of artists you know and this guy he's he's done mastering for like bands I think I, I saw in his lineup. He uh, I think he he's he did mastering for um. Oh, uh, uh, I want to say it was Dance Gavin Dance or like a, a very prominent uh, deathcore metalcore band. Uh, he it's in his video. So this guy, he you know he knows what the hell he's talking about, and he he gets paid like serious money for audio. Like this guy has a ridiculous amount. I I you know I I you know I I'm not normally. A, a person to trust people but i kind of i trust this guy's opinion so this guy says that this he found this software called matchery and this it's free it, it's open source software actually it's free and open source it uses the gpl 3.0 license i don't know how you feel about that but i don't really care i just know it's open source um so this thing right here is kind of basically when you when you look into AI mastering websites the ones that are charging for subscriptions for you know charging money to master your tracks using ai they're actually using this under the hood they're just building stuff more you know user interface and websites around it and i can understand why i mean even me who has a little bit of a you know like medium level technical background of you know working with software and shit even i had a hard time getting this fucking thing running but i got it running uh and what i did was i used um and yeah, and he is mentioned in, in even in their GitHub. I, I'm pretty sure they're excited. They're like, "Hey, we were mentioned." Um, but yeah, so what I did was I actually did the Docker image, and I'm using Docker in Windows, which is an incredible pain in the ass. And this thing did not want to run for me. I reinstalled it like twice. It didn't want to run properly for like an hour, uh, just me fucking with it. And then randomly, it just started working. So I don't know. So you you know, Docker on Windows is very. Uh, <laughs> it's it's something else it it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of touchy it's kind of touchy i don't i don't recommend it unless you're just like a real stubborn irish bastard like i am but yeah so i have uh so now i have uh maturing running locally as a web app and it's running on windows services for linux so apparently you can run linux on windows i'm kind of new to this when I, because I didn't really, I heard about this when I was using, because I, I used Linux and BSD exclusively for almost, almost eight years until I, I came back to Windows. 
And uh, if you're ever wondering why I came back to Windows, it's just strictly solely so I could just do audio because I just did not want to deal with Linux's bullshit and it, everything is just so much easier to set up in Windows. And uh, I, I know there might be guys out there going, oh, I, I do audio in Linux. I, I believe you. I believe I know you can do audio in Linux. It's just it's I just don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, maybe down the road, maybe down the future, but I just I, I, I have a system now that works for me and it's working. <laughs> so I'm kind of already laid my bed and I'm I have to lie in it. But anyway, so yeah, so uh, yeah, so you can run Linux on Windows or, or like a like a win, like a like a Windows container or I'm sorry, a Linux container. It runs the Linux kernel. It's called WSL2 for whatever. So anyways, it's running on Linux. So this is running locally on my machine and I can use it. Now what this does is that you you give it your track, the track that you produce, and you can also give it a reference track. So, you know, you can give it another track where you're like, so the AI can look at the reference track and try to apply the the the, the mastering that it finds in your reference track to the track that you're you're submitting. And this could be like just a a high quality track of an artist that you like, and you're like, that's the sound, that's the sound I want. <laughs> and so the whole point of this is this is not. The AI is just a tool to help you achieve the goal of mastering the track properly. From what I understand from Ben, this will give you something good. I mean, like, honestly, like it says right here, the Maturing 2.0 that ran locally was third behind two human mastering engineers that have actual, like, extremely, extremely expensive equipment and studios and shit. So that's pretty impressive. But... What he what he stressed in in there was that you basically it'll give you basically like like a ground like a base like a groundwork of how your track should be mastered how it should sound but then you afterwards should continue to make changes and listen with your ear and master it but this is gonna help you kind of get get to that result faster it's kind of like using Chat GPT Chat GPT I can't say it Chat fucking Chat we 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 mature cheesy b i don't know <laughs> but it's like that how you can use that thing to give you ideas to help you when you're creating something this can help you with your like you may let's say you produce a track it'll help you give you an idea of okay so if you're trying to master this track this is how it should sound and you can use what it gives you and then just continue mastering it a little bit more using your own tools or you can just you know say hey it sounds good enough for me but i I would highly recommend if you are going to use this tool that you just use it basically to help you under help you get to where you're like, okay, so I want my track to sound like this or, oh, I see. So I should be doing, you know, more limiting here or expand this here. You know, I mean, I, I'm still a noob when it comes to mastering. So that's what I wanted this thing for to kind of help me give me a reference. So I have, I have mastering tools. I have mastering plugins, um, a ton of them. I mean, I mean, I got Buzz open right here. I mean, I have a, I have a lot of stuff from. Um, uh, I have, I have the SPL Iron, the mastering compressor. It's right here. And I have this uh, Shadow Hills Class A master mastering compressor too. I have a bunch of EQs, um, a lot of free stuff. I have TDR Novas stuff. Like yeah, like, T like the Tokyo Dawn Labs Nova, and I just get this thing loaded real quick. So you oh there oh I already did it. Okay, sorry. I I, I put my I'm look I'm like I'm talking. I'm looking at the mic and I'm not actually looking at the screen. I'm stupid. Sorry. So I have this thing. This is for helping with uh, mastering. Um, I've heard this thing is really good for mastering, right here. It's called the TDR Nova. I've heard I've heard nothing but like just like some people just say that you can basically just do the majority of mastering with this thing, and maybe with the, also their uh, Molot Molotov or I, I can't I hate I hate the way they name plugins sometimes. They got the Molotov and they got the Kotelnikov compressor. So these these are some some cool tools that you can use. So anything TDR. So like uh and the, and of course the uh, prism is a uh, audio spectrum analyzer, and then you got uh, the 
this wing right here I've heard is is fucking amazing and I showed you the Nova and you also have um what else uh the Uli oh yeah this one right here the Yulian loudness meter this will help you analyze your loudness right here uh, see, there's some of the tools that I've been recommended to, to use to start with mastering. Um, I still have a long way to go. Uh, also, re uh, regarding um, my EP, I'm trying to get... I, I really wanted to get this EP done by Halloween. It's looking like it's not going to get done. But here's the thing. I am coming up with a lot of really cool new sounds. And I just... The reason why I don't want to rush it anymore is just because I'm finding a path to get... So, like, I, I, like I'm getting better with using vital with using the synthesizer like it's it's making way more sense to me and i'm able to start kind of forging my own sounds oh my god this slow hard drive anyways I'm, a, I'm able to forge my own sounds a little bit better now um this is all starting to make way more sense to me after i've just not night after night after night of just playing with it so now that i got this sound really good i want to want to start focusing on my drums I have uh, physically modeled drums and uh, uh, drum samples that I can use. I, I have a lot of drum samples that I can legally use too, and ones that I physically modeled. So I just want to start building my own drum patterns. Uh, just in this track alone, I'm, I'm using a, a, a like a, a drum loop that's from a, it's from one of my one of my sample packs that I have. It's 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 a cool one. It's a cool sample pack. It's like it's one that says you can use it. Whatever you can use, it, even use it commercially. Usually drums are they're a little less restricted than other types of samples. But um, yeah. So that's kind of where I'm going. So I'm so what I what, what so what I'm changing is I definitely am going to release a fully finished completed track on Halloween. That's my goal. The EP. We'll work on that afterwards. Um, I just, I don't want to rush it. I want to do it right. I'm just, it, I'm slowly learning all this stuff. And it's just not something, I don't know. Some people are just quicker learners. I'm a slow learner. So it's just going to take me time because I want to get better at this and do this right. But I'll, I'll give you a preview of my, my latest track just so you can see uh, what's going on here. Hopefully this doesn't stutter. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> so yeah that's just something that i'm working on um obviously it's very simple um you know jump up is a kind of a simple thing you mean you could definitely add layers layers of complexity to it but it's just a base it's just a start you know i'm you can see here i'm using only two generators we I, in buzz we call them we, sorry excuse me we call them generators so i'm only using the amigo uh sampler oh by the way uh Definitely loving this new Amigo update. I have the Amigo 2.0. This thing is fucking amazing. Like, download it now. Go buy it now. Just don't think. Just go buy it. It's so cool. But um, this is a full-fledged sampler. And what's cool about it is that it tries to emulate uh, kind of like the sampling abilities of uh, that you would have using an, a Commodore Amiga and things like Octomed and um, uh, Fast Tracker and Pro Tracker and stuff like that. So... It's really cool. So I have my drum sample running through that, and I have my synths. I have two uh, uh, synth patches running on Vital, and that's it. It's just the synth and, and the drums. It's the drums and the bass because it's just making a bass line. Now we could add more sounds, more layers. We could definitely spice the drums up. So that's kind of going to be the kind of the plan. I want to start, you know, kind of getting a little bit more wild with my drums, and then get these patterns kind of more fleshed out, doing more different things. 
you know, instead of just very basic uh, patterns. So, yeah, so a lot of cool things happening, and I'm and I kind of I'm excited about trying out this match ring thing. It's really cool, and uh, if you're if anybody's out there thinking about uh, spending money on uh ai mastering websites j- uh, save your money <laughs> spend like like ben jordan said spend that money on nice mastering plugins or just get yourself a nice you know get get go on tokyo don labs and and just download all their free stuff and uh i mean that's kind of honestly you don't really need much honestly but yeah so that's just kind of what i'm up to check out mastering it's really cool it's free and it's on github and uh you just have to know how to use docker uh which Docker on Windows can be a pain in the butt. I'm, I'm sure it's a lot easier on Linux. And, uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, I hope you, hope you have a good, good night or day or whatever's going on. And, uh, yeah, Charlie Root out.